Hello there. So back at Loch Doon again to do another test. And this time, it's a test of the, the Flytron Cree strobes. I've got a green one and a red one. And as you can see, I've got them both attached to Lassie's legs here. Now, how have I attached them? You can get different fittings and different things. Cost a wee bit of money, add a wee bit of weight. What I've done is I've used clear sellotape. And what I've found is, it's extremely secure, but it also enhances the LED a wee bit because of the plastic, it, it, it makes it even brighter. So, they're rock solid on there. Nothing's going to drop those off. So what we're going to do, I'm going to wait for the sun to go down. It's almost down, so I'll give it another half hour and I'll wait for the sun to go down until it's dusky and even getting dark. And then I'm going to fly out over the loch there. Now, I know it's safe to fly a distance even if I happen to go beyond 500 metres because I'll be keeping it about 20 metres maximum above the water level in a straight line straight out. So there's, there's nothing it can collide with, there's no boats out there, there's no people out there, there's no air, aircraft can come down. So it can't collide with anything at all, so we're going to be quite safe. And just see how far I can go out and still see the strobes shining. Now the last time I tried this, I'm not going to mention about the last time I tried this, but let's see other people have tried this and they, they say that they can see quite clearly the strobes at 3,000 feet or 3,000 metres I believe, which is 3 kilometres. Um, so I've also got my trusty uh, head cam on here, which I haven't, I haven't tried it uh, for six years. This is the first time I've worn it for six years. The last time was, uh, in fact, almost seven years. The last time was on my honeymoon. Uh, when I was in Florida and it, it's been sitting in a, in a drawer ever since so we're going to try that out just so that I can uh, you can get the same kind of view that I have and it's 4k so that's quite good you'll get the same kind of view that I get as the, the, the strobes disappear so all I have to do now is go back and sit and wait for about half an hour maybe three quarters of an hour for the sun to go down and we'll get the test going Okay, so here we have last year with our two strobes on and I'm going to send her out now at this height and just see how far she can go and keep the strobes on. Now it's only dusk, but I'll try her out, at, out just now at dusk and then I'll bring her back when it's dark, should be about 20 minutes, maybe half an hour, and put her back out when it's dark with another bar, fresh battery and see how far she can go. camera can, I don't even think the camera can see her at all to be honest with you, I can't see it in the screen, but she's bright as a button out there, flashing absolutely clear as a bell, clear as, clear as day, out at nearly 2,000 feet now. As long as I keep her height as close to zero as possible. I know that she's no, she's going to be about 30 feet above the water line and she'll be safe. I absolutely still see her flashing. Don't, I doubt very much if the camera can pick that up, but I can see both her red and her green lights flashing. Unbelievably bright. So she's well over a half a mile away now and still as clear as day. Unmistakable. Still absolutely clear as possible, clear as uh, uh, is as if she was two feet in front of me. Now at 4,000 feet. How much further are gonna, am I going to be able to see that light? That's unbelievable. Right, I can 
I can't see the green one anymore, but I can still see the red one. The red one is getting faint. I can only see one flash. Yep, can still see her though. Now there's a low battery. I cancel that and push on just a little bit. Still, I can, I can see the green one now as well. I can see the red one and the green one. Well, that's over a mile. Right, I'm not going to push that any further with it. I don't want to push it any further with the low battery warning there because she's right over the water. So that's over six thousand feet now. I'm going to bring her back. And hopefully, we'll be, we'll be all right. So there you go, over 6,000 feet and I can still see it, I can still see it as clear as day. I'm flying her back backwards. Certainly see a reflection. Ah, there you go, you can see them now. Whoa! <laughs> she came in there a bit fast. Right, so it's not quite dark yet. It's not quite dark yet. But I'll change the battery over and we'll send her out in the dark. <clears throat> okay, so finally, finally I think it's dark enough to fly. I can see a few stars out. And the moon, the moon's coming out as well. So let's see if we can get the, the telemetry up. Oh, we need to turn the strobes on. That's important, isn't it? Right, I try not to blind myself when I'm doing this. Yeah, that's the red one on. Oh, jeez, oh. There's fiddly wee buttons, these. Well, the green one's not on yet. Let's get it on. That should be it. Right, that's the green one on as well. Okay. Right, so we're about ready to send it up with a... The, the light's flashing. There we go. So it's, whoop. <laughs> can hardly see what I'm doing now because it, it is getting quite dark, but that's good. But I'll be sending her out into the dark as far as I possibly can. Oh, finally forgot to switch this one on as well. And start recording. Hopefully that will be recording as well. So. We should have everything set up. Let's, let's bring Lassie into line a wee bit. There she is. Oop. And let's send her off out. When you go in, let's see how far you can go. Right, this is, a, this is quite a thing flying around the dark like this. I'm going to try and keep her in the, the centre of the, the screen as much as I can. And we'll see what we see. That's the moon there that she can, the lassie can see. We'll bring it a wee bit over to the to the right. There we go, and straighten her back up. She's flashing very, very bright. I'm going to take her up in elevation altitude a wee bit. 
when the light in the camera's on, so you should be able to see my ugly mug quite bright. <laughs> but there we go, she's bright as a button. Don't know how interesting a video this is going to be if you can't actually see on the screen. Um, <laughs> I suppose you can see her a wee bit now and she's at 2,000 feet. I can still see her flashing away bright there. Just keep it going steady at this for a while. I don't even know what this 4K camera here can pick up in one of my headset. Don't know if it can pick up anything, it's been that long since I've, I've used it. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> That's 3,000 feet now, and I can still see her absolutely bright. I don't know if you can in the camera there. Ah, you can still see her flashing away in the camera. That's no bad. I'll bring her up into the skyline. You can be able to see her a bit better. Against the, the night sky, it's not really that dark in the night sky right enough. I don't know if we can see her in the camera there. I can still see her very, very bright in the sky, but it's hard to tell if the camera can see her. I can still see her flashing red and green at four and a half thousand feet away. Red and green flashing bright. Five thousand feet, and uh, those strobes are still flashing away. Lovely. And uh, I'm surprised I haven't got a, a low battery warning yet. However, we'll keep her going until we do. And when I get when I get the low battery signal, that's when I think we'll bring her back. Still as clear as day, and that's coming up in 6,000 feet, absolutely clear. I'm actually really curious to see how far away you, you can see those lights, because that's quite amazing. Six and a half thousand feet, still absolutely clear. I don't think you'll be able to see much on either of the either of them a camera is my headset camera or the, the iPhone camera but I can tell you right now that the red and the green lights are still flashing away absolutely bright as day and that's coming up and that's 7,000 feet now and I can see them as clear as I could when she was right here in front of me no but lo low battery warning yet that's good we'll just keep her going I don't think the camera can see anything at the moment, but anyway, no low battery warning yet. Let's see if we can get 8,000 feet out of her. I can still see the, the red and the green flashing away there. Yeah, there's a low battery warning, so I'll just take her past 8,000 feet and I'm going to bring her back now. I'll fly her back backwards, so I can still see her. And there she is, going back home hen. I 
and there she is back to home right come on then let's get you even into your bed this should be interesting <laughs> Come on, don't bite me now, don't bite me. Don't struggle, come on. Ah, that's a good girl, that's a good girl. There you go, so that, that was quite an interesting little test there. Hope you weren't too bored by it. Um, and I did bring her back before the battery got completely, completely low because I'm flying over water. So anyway, if you liked that, give us a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one.